Good evening, my fellow members. Good evening. Tonight is just the tenth speech. I have seen many topics, such like loving TM, change, or different concepts. But tonight, I want to bring you to another word. My topic is death. <laughs> As you can see, no eye contact, no body language, no tall point. All you have to do is just focus on my voice. Can you image what would happen when you die? No light, no break. No sunshine, no future, just stuck. Can you image how suffer would be of your parents, the people sitting around you, your father, your mother cannot see you anymore? Jane is thinking about if there is some way to leave their suffering after I die. After Jen's song, P.S. I love you, I decide I want to leave something after I die. I pray for God to give me, to tell me when I will die and give me some time to leave something. If I would die, I want to write down some letters, hand over to my best friend, and ask her for to send it, sending it to my parents. There are several letters to my parents. The first letter, dear parents, today I have passed the final moment of my life. I know you will be suffering to mine, but don't cry. I feel your daughter, no matter I'm a living or a death. The fact that I love you cannot be changed anymore. <coughs> Dear daughter, the second letter Hey, Mom, are you surprised to receive this letter? I just want to tell you, Happy Mother's Day. I know you are very happy now, but you have to notice that don't eat too much cake because you are fat enough. So, and take care of yourself. The third Letter. Dear Father, today is my birthday. I want to eat fried chicken, pizza, and the Coca Cola. But don't prepare too much. I can't. I cannot eat all of it. And take care of yourself. Take care of your mother. And you have to notice your blood pressure. It won't be too high. The fourth letter. Hey, hey, my fellow family. Today is July 15, the girls' festival. Don't lock the door tonight. Don't lock the window tonight. I will back to see you. And my little boy and my little brother, don't be scared, I'm your sister. And now, I am back. The Flake Letter My dear, dear family, It has been one year since I leave you. And I hope 
you can set your own life. See the sunshine outside. It's pretty, right? By the way, it is the last letter. Don't be sad. Without the letters, you can be go ahead. Why roll the tears away? You have to see your own life. And I will still missing you without the letter. I will still loving you. My dear, dear, your Jen, your lovely, lovely Jen. Now, I want to bring you back to this world. Now, we are alive. Are you wondering, why am I so busy every day? I'm exhausted. I'm busy for tutors, for study, for competition, for speech. I think I, every day I'm very busy, I'm really sad, and I don't know why am I busy. Why am I busy every day? After thinking about death, let's think about life. I want to be a tutor. I want to start it because I want to earn money in the future. I start to study English, Japanese, drama. Just because I want to travel the world in the future with my family. Are we always take all of things for granted? Just because we forgot not something really important. In Satan's speech, I have to inspire my audience. And so uh, maybe I can choose a topic about my life or something, but I want to bring you something so you ever, you never saw before. If one day you will die, who will be safe? Your parents. So in Gen C10, I want to, I want you guys to Think about if one day when you die, please leave something to a person who really loves you. Today is Mother's Day. What's, what's the most important of my life? It's family. So, at the break time, take a phone call to your parents. Top Master of the Evening.